So we've come to the end of my first week doing the watertight challenge and we've spent the whole week really focusing on uh, how much water we use, getting to grips with the meter, trying to work out where in the house we are using the most water and we've got a really uh, good method now for taking meter readings and for studying the different water uses um, in different rooms and different parts and activities in the house. So the data that I've collected this week shows that our average water use during the week has been 357 litres per day um, across the household. There's two of us, so it's about 173 litres on average each. That's quite high. The reason it's so high is because we've had to resort to, in the lack of any rainfall, we've had to resort to watering the garden in the last few days with a watering can filled from the tap. Um, we haven't used the hose, um, we, we draw a line at that, um, but we have had to water the garden, otherwise we're going to lose some of our plants. Um, we have only, looking at the data, we've only had about two millimetres of rainfall in Exeter, here where we are, um, since the start of July. So it's very, very dry. Normally it would be 50, 55 mill millimetres of rain uh, during July alone uh, in Exeter. So there isn't much rainfall around and we've had to resort to that. That's really driven our, our water use up. My investigations during week one of my watertight challenge have allowed me to assess the amount of water that I'm using on a day-by-day -day basis. During week one, the data collected using the water meter shows that I'm averaging around 160, 170 litres of water per day. And again, the monitoring that I've done using the water meter has shown me roughly how that breaks down. And you can see that in this chart. Now, interestingly, when um, additional uses of water kick in during a on any particular day for example using water in the garden or indeed using additional water in the shower or having um, for example a bath you can see that has a huge impact in the daily use of water so taking it from 168 in this case to 288 litres um, per person per day in the household so that's obviously uh, a bit of a wake-up call and it certainly explains why our water use has been on average so high uh, in recent months and indeed over the last couple of years. But what it also allows me to do is to look at where we might um, adjust that or, or, or where efficiencies might be achievable that would allow us to drive our daily water use down nearer to the 100 litres per day mark. And so this scenario, the final one, shows um, what that might look like um, so by uh, and what, what I think is positive about this is that it means it shows that we don't actually have to completely compromise our way of life so for example by simply reducing the use of the dishwasher and washing machine to alternate days rather than every day and reducing the uh, duration of showers and indeed the the number the volume of flush or the number of flushes of the toilet then we can actually drive that number down towards 100 litres per day. So it gives us a really uh, strong sense that the target is not unachievable, um, but it does also re um, remind us that any additional use of water uh, when it, uh, in the garden, for example, uh, or additional showers or baths can completely <laughs> derail the, um, the daily use uh, statistics.